Keishu Yas, Keishu Yas, Keishu Yas, closer to getting that one year badge baby. I had this horrible moment here where I thought I was unmuted that entire time, but it's okay. I wasn't unmuted that entire time, so it's fine. I am still muted in Discord, though. Hi, friends. How's it going? <laughs> I was gonna say, you're still muted in Discord. I was, I was making my way over here, making my way downtown, Walking panicking fast. fast. Pushing mm -hmm. buttons, and and we're stream bound. Mm -hmm. um. <laughs> oh my goodness! Perfect, beautiful. I love you guys so much. Uh -huh. <laughs> love Hi, you hi. How's it going? How are you doing? Oh, fine. How are you? <laughs> it's been a it's been a wacky ass week, but we're here now. We're back. We're back officially. Um, it's great. Hi, uh, Emmy, David, thank you for the subs, you beautiful beings, you. Uh, yeah, I don't got much else that I want to say. don't have much else to say. You guys got anything to say? No. No? Okay. Okay. Well, should we do the thing then? <laughs> I'm trying to remember what happened last time. It has been a- it has been over a week. Yeah, it's been a week. <laughs> it's been a week. Fucking hell, yeah, it's been it was... a week. Can it just stop being a week for all of us at any given point, please? Please nope. and thank you. Nope, okay. Hi, Mama! Mama where? She's- she's over here. Don't worry about it. Mama! Hey! 
She looked at me for two seconds and then walked away. <laughs> Do you come here? <gasps> I saw my hand. That means pets. Ugh! Well, I'm here. No, not bad. Gotta dance that Don Don Rumpa. Mm -hmm. She's just like, I don't give a shit. You're holding me. Everything's fine now. Yeah. <laughs> She's a good girl. Uh, what happened last time? We opened up the next island. Island number five? Island number four. An island. <laughs> And it was all amusement parky and great and fantastic. And now we're trapped inside the fun house that is broken up into two separate buildings. You got you got strawberry house and you got grape house. Everyone hates Hajime. Um, because Nagito's an asshole and mm -hmm. tried to make everyone think that we were the traitor. And by everyone, everyone hates Hajime. I mean, Kazuichi hates Hajime. Yeah. Because he's a yep. fucking sucker. <laughs> so when is he going to die? Oh. Oh, when he does. Mommy, <laughs> <laughs> you're falling out of my lap, honey. You can't roll around like this, little bean. No. It's too much. You're going to fall and you're going to get hurt. And nobody wants that. No. Not at all. And squeeze your little face, okay? <laughs> Alright, down you go. Um, I always forget. Forget what? Oh! Jody, Emmy, thank you for the contribution to the reading stream. Um, also, thank you for the bubble, Jody. <laughs> Did, you a good bubble. Did you absolutely nothing, but I love it for ya. <laughs> <laughs> um what else right all of the boys are staying in strawberry house except for us we're staying in grape house with the girls because there weren't enough spaces over there for us um Even and the girls though, like you know girls love us we've lost many people <laughs> there's only five five rooms per per side mm -hmm. and there's six boys and four girls it's fine don't worry about it <laughs> Monokuma knew what he was doing when he set these rooms up. Mm -hmm. Um Mechamaru is a thing. Yep. And that's great. We love that for us. And that's about it. I'm a uh, little bit worried about how many times they mentioned the sleep function. <laughs> it's like it's gonna come up later. I don't know what you're talking about. I think it'll be Thank fine. You. It'll be fine. It's fine. Oh, you know what I forgot to do, though? Close captions. Oh, grip it and rip it. Grip it and rip it. Oh, um, that's what I forgot to do. Captions are on, though. I'm vaguely on top of it. Only vaguely. Anyway, let's go! Oh, hey! It's me! <laughs> I am still not used to Nekomaru's new appearance. What? Sh oh! Oh, right! It's free time! Hold on. Sorry, oh. Sonya. Sorry, Sonya. Maybe you're gonna we're, we're gonna be who we hang out with. Who knows? Uh, we gotta figure out who. Who are who are we gonna hang out with? They really should gray out the characters that we can't hang out with. I mean, anymore. I mean... <laughs> Everyone's um, dead! It's that yeah, whole, whole bottom row. Oh shit, you're right! Oh wow! <laughs> Alright, well, bottom row's out. And then... Mm -hmm. Byakuya and Teru Teru. So the whole middle row's good. And, and three of the top row. <laughs> Who do we want to see? We got Nagito. Got we Gundam. We've been neglecting Fuyuhiko. We have been! <gasps> Do we want to go see if we can hang out with him? Yes. He's not always an option. 
<laughs> I think this is like some of the first times that he is actually an option yeah. now. All right, all right, let's go find our boy. I guess I should probably like find where he is on the map. That might be helpful. He is in his bedroom, in the crummy room. Oh, buddy. <gasps> Hi, Dr. Octo! How's it going? You're never here for evening streams. <laughs> it's cool. You do your lurk. It's all good. We're just hanging out, chilling, doing some reading. I got my mods, uh, Mayor Emmy and Odd Moose here with me today. It's great. We're just reading some stuff. But I hope you're doing Hello. well. <laughs> No, David, I think you're wrong. I think the crummy room's actually kind of really bad. <laughs> Look at it. It's crummy. Nico also has the crummy room. Yeah. <laughs> Twinsies! Damn it. How much longer do we have to stay in this place? I feel like it's gonna make me rot to death. What should I do? Fight for you, he could hang out. They're in the back watching their own stuff, so I can stream whatever I like over here. Nice. Nice. <laughs> yeah, sure. That doesn't sound awful. <laughs> of course it doesn't. It's because I'm delightful. <laughs> Spent time today talking to Fuyu and Hiko. We grew closer. I would love to give him a present, but we're not doing that. Hey, Fuyu Hiko, how's that wound on your stomach doing? It, it's fine. Nothing to worry about. Are you sure? I thought you'd say that. You must have abnormally strong willpower to actually slice open your own stomach like that. Then again, you are the ultimate Yakuza. Hmm. Hmm. I just have Yakuza blood flowing through my veins. There's nothing strong about that. You know, I did some thinking about this when I was in the hospital. Like... Maybe this is all a dream. A dream, huh? How great would that be? Uh, sorry. Obviously you'd be thinking about that more than I would. Well, that's not true. I've seen plenty of people die up till now. And as long as I'm burdened with the Kuzuryu name, I'll always be dealing with a mountain of bodies. But Body you guys aren't like me. It's a sick joke to see students who live honest lives bumping each other off like this. This guy's always known violence and death. I see. He's used to it. Are you scared to talk to me? To obviously not. We ran here. We ran here mm -hmm. to talk to him. <laughs> From the other building, right? Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've got uh, Mayor Emmy is voicing Fuyuhiko... Uh, Sonia, Chiaki, and Monami, and then I'm Odd a Moose. <laughs> yeah, you are. Uh, and then Odd Moose is reading. Is it just Nagito at this point? Yep. Everybody else is dead. Oh yikes! <laughs> oh yikes! Uh huh. Well, hey, if you if you want to pick up another character, don't let me know. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> well, yeah, you should. Also, Nino, hi! Welcome! We also love the Danganronpa series here. How are you doing? How's it going? Welcome, welcome, welcome! I saw that you followed the other day and it made me very happy. <laughs> it's so good to see you here. Um, yeah, just uh, just just so you know, since you're brand new to the channel, um, we do uh, we are in no spoiler zone. Um, I have played the Danganronpa games before, so I'm familiar with them, but there's lots of people who aren't, and it's much more fun for them to all experience it on their own. Um, I do have content warnings in chat. If y'all need it, they are on a timer, but if you ever need to pull those up, it's exclamation point CW. Um, and we also have the game link. If there's ever a game that we're playing and you just want to check it out and purchase it yourself, you can pull either of those up um, for those purposes. I think that's about all I gotta, gotta say for now. But yeah, <laughs> I'm glad that you're doing good. And like I said, I'm super happy that you're here. Hi, hi, hi. Okay. Uh huh. There's no need to hide it. I'm used to being cautioned by everyone. Hey. 
The world is a barbaric place, especially my world. Everyone I know tries to settle things with violence. You guys have different values than I do. But we still love you, Fuyuhiko! <laughs> Our boy! Our boy! My old man likes to say, predators are always stronger than their prey. He's a hothead. Even if it's just a minor argument, he'll come at you with everything he's got. And when him and my mom fight, she seriously tries to kill him. Being a Yakuza means you can even kill the man you love to get your point across. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh. That's not healthy. <laughs> right? Y'all should uh, look into that. <laughs> um, awesome. Yeah, I mean, it's just something that I like let like to let everyone know, uh, just to kind of make it clear. But yeah, like I said, we're happy to have you here, Nino. I hope you can enjoy the games alongside us. <laughs> I've been hearing stuff like that since before I was old enough to understand what's going on around me. Yikes! That's a pretty outrageous home life. The worlds we both live in couldn't be more different. Like... There were a few times where I nearly got killed in the aftermath of my parents' fights. But whenever something like that happened, Pekka was always there by my side. Uh, I'm sorry, I made you remember something painful. Huh? What? You don't need to apologize for that, you strange bastard. <laughs> but still, I'm the rightful successor of the Kuziryu clan. I don't get overwhelmed very easily. <laughs> By the time I was in second grade, I didn't cry even if I lost a fight. I see. Good for you. <gasps> Cyril, I love you too. Hey, <laughs> Cyril! Everyone here loves Cyril. Cyril. <laughs> I, if my name isn't synonymous with Don Don Rumpa at this point, we're doing it wrong. Who says hi? It's Allie. It's Allie and Obvious. Emmy. They're all saying hello. Emmy. <laughs> Hold on, let me get a shout out going for Cyril. Assuming I can like actually spell your name, what the frickity frick. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Emmy's a, a Yakuza now. It's great. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Uh -huh. Don't slice your stomach open, Emmy. That's all I ask. But I can if I want to. Please don't. <laughs> Fuck you, you bastard. <laughs> no! You strange bastard. <laughs> Oh no, we've created a monster. It's great. I mean that, for yes. I was right. already a monster. <laughs> we have unleashed this monster even further. <laughs> oh boy. I don't really know what to say to him. Anyway, it's not much, but I'm starting to get to know Fuyuhiko a little better. Oh. Our boy! <laughs> Our beautiful boy! After talking to Fuyuhiko about some other things, I parted ways with him and returned to my room. Okay, who are we gonna hang out with next? Who's our next buddy? Well, Chiaki's right there. That is true. That is true. How many times have we hung out with Chiaki? Just, just out of curiosity. If that's who we want to hang out with, let's fucking do it. She'll be our first uh, three-star friend. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, I dang. Think it looks like it's Nagito who's the only one who's alive who... <laughs> we haven't hung out with um, at yeah. all. Talk to Nagito. Yeah, we go... could go hang out with Nagito. I can have something to do. This is true. <laughs> and also think of another character if you want to read another one. Oh, yeah. Oh. Is that him? No. Where? Where? <laughs> Where's He's Nagito? hiding. Oh. That's Sonya. That's Fuyuhiko. There he, there he is. is in Strawberry Tower. You fucking weirdo. He is being sneaky. Gotta stop. That's because of his flesh hair. Why? <laughs> I hate it. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Bad flesh hair. <laughs> 
I hate that that's a thing that we've made. Not, don't, don't, no, David, no. <laughs> I like strawberries. There you are, you weirdo. Wow, I can't believe how huge these buildings are. What should I do? I guess we'll invite him to hang out. <laughs> I'm so blessed. I'm so happy. I'm about to wet myself. Hey. Do you want to share our ideas about this building? Not if you're gonna pee yourself! <laughs> Nagito, no! Spend time with Nagi Nagito today, exchanging ideas. Not pithing yourself. No pithing. <laughs> Guess Nagito and I grew a little closer today. No, not really. <laughs> oh! That's it. <laughs> Is that it? Nagito says no! <laughs> I've never no. seen that happen before. No, we have. To be fair... I think most of the, the like, second time- well, no, because this is the first time that we've hung out with him, isn't it? Well, it's the second time. We hung out with him once when he was tied up. Did we? Mm-hmm. Oh! Okay. Okay, well then that makes sense, because I was gonna say, it seems like the second time that we've hung out with most characters. Um... We didn't, like, get to talk to them at all. <laughs> Is it still free time? Uh-huh. Try okay. talking to Nagito again. Okay. <laughs> it didn't seem to work. Okay. <laughs> well, did we get did we get a hope fragment from him? No, oh, it's still at one. Bruh. Bruh. He got too distracted. Stop thinking about pithing himself. Kane's in her room. Kazuichi's hanging out in the grape house. Of course he is. Monokuma Archive! That's a grape house. That's upstairs. I don't care if he's too excited. He needs to chill. No, no, David, don't do it! Emmy's gonna get ya! Oh. Oh. Oh, he fucking did it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a dirty word and you know it. <laughs> you show him. <laughs> so this is the Monokuma archive that Nagito was telling me about. Of course he's hanging out in here. Apparently there are no clues that might be useful for escaping this place, but in the future it may be necessary to know about the enemy. Hi, Nagito. Hajime, are you getting along with the girls at Grape House? What should I do? Possible. Your gracious invitation makes me want to cry. There's no way I could decline. Are you sure about that? Spent time with Nagito today talking about various things. <laughs> Thank you for the contribution to the, the reading stream, Cyril. Also, it's Grape House. I don't. It's. It's, it's Grape where the House. Live. It's just Grape House. David, thank you for the contribution as well. I guess Nagito and I grew a little closer today. Oh. Wow, okay. Nope, nothing. What, what time is it heck? right now? It's because nobody likes him. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if it, if I have to like give gifts in this one to continue mm. uh, their conversations. To which it's like, game, no. Don't, mm -hmm. don't make me. Don't make me. Yeah, grape house. Did I fucking stutter? I do that sometimes. So did I did I stutter? No. Did, no. Okay. <laughs> huh. It's already already 10 p.m. Did this we a get guy. a fragment? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Probably not. Absolutely nope. not. We did not. Did we just waste? Yeah. Two free times. Yeah. We have to go back. <laughs> Do we? You want me to reload? I'm I'm mad, but it's it's okay. <laughs> We're gonna continue on then. <laughs> Emmy says no, no waste time. 
<laughs> um, just as I thought, I can't get a sense of what time it is when there are no windows or Monokuma announcements. It's still a little early, but I should go back to my room. Cyril, have you finished the first Danganronpa yet? Because if you haven't, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have some words for you. I gotta go to my room. And those and those words are just you should finish you should finish the first Danganronpa. Hey, you should finish <laughs> the first game. It's very good. You should you should finish the first game. And hey, if you don't want to finish it yourself, I got I got my playthrough of it of the first one on YouTube. Shamelessly plugging my YouTube. <laughs> Please like and subscribe. No, don't don't actually. Allie! <laughs> she beat you. Just barely. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, got all my past stuff up there if you It's a bot off. <laughs> it's oh no. Oh no. That's that's dangerous. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's good though. Healthy, mm. healthy also, competition. I can, pick, I can oh. pick up um Kazuichi. Go for it, <laughs> cool. please, please take it. I know. Him I figured I'd take something that nobody liked. <laughs> He's a good foil to literally every other character who's a decent human being. Yeah, but uh, he just gets to be the gullible, rash, emotional one. Let me talk about panties all the time. But not mm -hmm. like Teru Teru does. Right. Um, oh, thanks, right. David. <laughs> you watched. You watched it. Um, yeah, no, you can be Kazuichi. I'm here for that. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Uh, I tried to do my very best not to worry, but even I have my limits. I'm hungry. <laughs> not the thumbnails. Oh fuck, I gotta remember how to do the Monokuma voice. Give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. There you go. Oh, I heard that! Jeez, are you whining already? It's only your second day! It's so jeez of you to do this that all I can say is jeez! You should just stop being stubborn. Hurry up and start the killing already! <laughs> do you like the bold boy one? That was a game. What do you want? My, my, you don't even have the energy to be mad, huh? Well, I have good news for you guys. We've all lost, or you've all lost your drive ever since you guys got here, right? You have the drive of an old man in his 50s. In order for you guys to get your energy back, I'm providing a special service with all my heart. So everyone, please gather at Great Tower tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. 7 in the morning? There's no alarm clock in this room. How do you expect us to wake up? That's your responsibility, so you figure it out. By the way, being late is strictly prohibited. Bye -bye. Okay then, goodbye! Uh. Apparently being Monokuma makes me burpy. Nice. <laughs> The, the dropsy thumbnail is one of my favorites, honestly. <laughs> of, like, the really, like, atrocious ones. Dropsy definitely, like, takes the cake. <laughs> <laughs> the burp is the new fard. Don't worry about it. Service with all your heart, huh? It's no use. My stomach feels so empty. I can't stop thinking about food. <laughs> burp. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> Oh, I've missed- I've missed everyone. It's great. We're here now. If I know Monokuma, there's no way he'll provide that for us. Oh, <gasps> Luhai! Luhai! <laughs> Welcome! Hello, <Damn> friend. <laughs> Howdy. How you doing? Those good, good froggies. I love I them so much. Aren't they cute? <laughs> they very, they very good. I like the knife one. I mean, anything with a knife. And I'm here for it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I pulled up the thin covers of my futon, desperately trying to ignore my hunger pangs, and went to sleep. Why are they going to bed hungry? Because there's no food in the house. Monokuma wants us to kill someone before we starve. Mm. Today, I interviewed random strangers on the street and asked them, What do you hate about Monokuma? Here are the results. 
He has a foul mouth, a terrible personality, and he's a rude pig. But he's still popular despite all that. He's a lazy ass who doesn't work hard at all, and yet he's more skilled and better than people who do. Not only did God give him both hands, God gave him everything. He always talks crap about others, but nobody really talks crap about him. That he's willing to die to protect the woman he loves. That he can't live without me. He's usually co cold toward me, but he takes good care of me when I'm sick. He always slaps me around when he drinks, but afterward, he cries and gently hugs me. I hate that his job changes every time he gets a new job. He's extremely responsive when other people say things like drinks, group dates, and promotions. I hate that my daughter suddenly got curvier after she enrolled in middle school. Those were the results. Oh, I'm so long. I don't think people belong to one person for a or I don't think I'll belong to one person for a while. Monokuma, your results were scary. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> no one does. I'm starting to feel this strange chill. Well, it's, it obviously must be from hunger. What time is it now? I sat up much slower than usual, then headed straight to the lounge. Hmm. Hi, kitten. 6.30 a.m. It's a miracle I was able to wake up. As I recall, it's bad if we don't gather or gather a great tower by 7 a.m. <clears throat> Monokuma is mentally on another planet. Facts, though? <laughs> Don't expect much from Monokuma, but I guess I should go there for now. Let's go to... Got jumps in another game. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Our sweet, sweet boy. Oh, Gundam. <laughs> it's Grape Tower, right? Not Strawberry yeah. Tower? Alright. Great tower, here we come. Hi! No, can you not? No, hey, no. No knocking over my trash can, thank you. Why are you such a turd? Hold on, gotta distract the cat with treats. Leave the trash can alone, you little bitch. <laughs> yes, chomp. Chomp on those treats. Oh, hold on. She also doesn't have any water. Let me just, like, make it seem like I don't take care of my cat at all. I do, I promise. She probably knocked it all out. I don't see any wet or spots. absorbed it all in their face. <laughs> that seems likely. Absolute beast of an animal. Alright. Lamia taken care of. Everyone who gathered here had pale faces. <sighs> Man, I'm tired. I'm seriously so tired. Stop complaining. You're bringing me down. I mean... But I'm exhausted. Not only can we not eat food, but we're being forced to come here early in the morning. This isn't this about... Isn't... Oh, sorry. It's all good. <laughs> this isn't about just you. We're all getting screwed here. But we're getting screwed the most. Obviously, we're more tired than everyone else. I mean, we had to take the contact elevator to get here from Strawberry. <laughs> so, so we had to walk all the way from Strawberry Hall to the elevator and then walk all the way over here. Cyril, you're wrong. I mean, I think this hair would look great on you, but you're wrong for liking Kazuichi. Kazuichi's <laughs> aesthetic is pretty great, though. Good aesthetic! Shitty character, though! Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm sorry! <laughs> the longer you walk, the more calories you burn. So obviously, we're more tired than you guys. So, uh... So next... Next serial look is gonna be the Kazuichi here? That's what I'm hearing. Oh my god, that's the creepiest looking ice cream van I've ever seen. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I thought you were talking about Megamon! <laughs> I was like, that's so rude! <laughs> no, like a white van with... <laughs> Sorry. 
with stickers of ice cream on the on the side just drove past playing the song the entertainer oh no <laughs> oh, that's horrifying it's not good. you've got you've got a, a child kidnapper in your neighborhood is what i'm hearing uh-huh oh my god that timing was so good though <laughs> Don't talk about Mechamaru like that! <laughs> I a, would never. He's a good boy. It's a robot, don't worry about it, Cyril. <laughs> it's funny. Stop it's whining! Cause hit, it's because he got hit with a bazooka in the crotch. That's what it's happens. True. It's true. <laughs> you can't turn into a robot if you get bazooka, bazooka in the dick. It's mm -hmm. fine. He, he You're does fine. suspend strings from the ice. These are all true statements. Uh -huh. <laughs> you don't have to worry about getting hungry since you're a robot. <laughs> Funk Zooka. Can't they just like have soda for calories? And by soda, I mean the drink, not the mm -hmm. person. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise. They just eat Kazuichi. Yeah. Um. No, <laughs> knowing Monokuma, it'd probably be like a diet soda or something. It's not really I mean, calories in that to sustain yourself. Cannibalism yourself. is my thing, but... It is. I wouldn't eat Kazuichi. I'd, I'd eat just about anyone. I wouldn't eat Kazuichi. <laughs> Anywho. I'm in a similar situation. I left my charger inside my cottage. What's this? Man, you guys are already starting to brag about how unhealthy you are. Damn. You've got a lot of nerve coming here. Um... N now that we all have gathered here so early in the morning, what do you intend to make us do this time? No, no. I just want everyone to be healthy again! Healthy? Hey, hey. You're losing your drive because you're burning rubber down the unhealthy highway, right? <laughs> I'm offering this service so that you can all feel healthy again. So... From this day forward, I'd like to make Monokuma Tai Chi part of your daily routine every morning. <laughs> I like it when the flowers come out. <laughs> Monokuma Tai Chi. Alright, start the music. <laughs> make optimal use of Earth's gravity. And release yourself from the tension of your conscious self. It's not got robot, welcome! <laughs> Six, two. Control your breath. Slowly Move as if you're drawing a circle. <laughs> Cyril, thank you for the gift, sub! Aww. <laughs> you wish they had an actual glass. Don't worry about it. This is class. <laughs> Not the Nekamaru cakes. Not the Nekamaru cakes. He's packing on both ends of things. Just saying. Just saying. I, I thought we determined that the bulge is not transferred to the robot body. It, they nerfed it. They 100% mm -hmm. nerfed the bulge. Yeah, on... I did get nerfed. <laughs> but I mean, there's only so much they can recover um, when you get bazooka in the dick. Oh, that's true. <laughs> they didn't have, they didn't have a uh, source material to work with. <laughs> he took a zook to him. Oh, no! Oh, I appreciate how much we talk about Nekamaru's dick in this game. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is clearly affecting my hunger. I think you mean thirst, Hajime. <laughs> why, ex <laughs> why exactly do we have to do this? I used to have a bulge, but then I took a zooka to the crotch. How are you liking Skyrim, by the way? <laughs> Let me guess, someone took your nut bulge. Hey, over there. No <laughs> it's a sweet roll reference to Skyrim. <laughs> Phew! We sure worked up a good sweat! Staying healthy is definitely super important. You. 
Oh, fuck off. We did a bunch of pointless exercise thanks to you, and now we're hungrier than ever. I like it when Emmy swears. <laughs> <laughs> I can't move. The road to good health is not an easy one. It might be painful, but we'll do this again tomorrow. They're very <laughs> distracting, Cyril. We love Akane and her huge tracts of land. <laughs> Unless something big happens, I won't allow any tardies or absences. Make sure you remember that. Sometimes she turns into a werewolf, and other times her shirt likes to come undone even more. <laughs> we love Akane. <laughs> She's a big dumb idiot. We love her. You, you intend to keep making us do this? Yes. Damn it. Guys, I don't think I'm gonna last till tomorrow. Damn it. E enough already. How much longer is this going to last? This is <clears throat> troubling. That much longer. Didn't he say? Until the killing starts. This too. It seems the plausibility of those words is finally starting to affect us. If this persists any longer, it wouldn't surprise me if something really did happen. <laughs> Damn it. Give me the- bring the Wendigos on. Don't actually, please don't bring the Wendigos on. Please. <laughs> please, dear God. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I- I don't want to die in a place like this. Gotta get used to being Eggy Kazuichi over here. That's all these eyes remind me of, or like fried eggs. Mm -hmm. If I'm gonna die in a place like this, I I might as well. Thanks for stopping in, Cyril. We love you. Go get your snacks. 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 <laughs> what are you saying? Calm down. Shut up. Shut up. I can't fucking calm down. Damn it. There's no food. There's no way to escape. Kazuichi would be the one who snaps. <laughs> if this goes on, everyone's gonna starve to death. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, was that you? No. no wait, are still... you telling us to just wait until we starve to death? I'd rather have that happen to us. Then have our friends kill each other. Huh? Huh? Do you mean that you'd rather die? Huh? I- I got it. Oh my you're just saying that because you're the traitor. What? You're planning to make us all weak. So you can kill us all. What are you saying? <sighs> Fess up, you've been secretly getting food from your future foundation buddies, haven't you? I swear, you better... So... Making a scene is just going to make us hungrier, so let's just calm down for now. You're right. Even if you guys fight, our situation isn't going to change. It appears you can wait to die from impending starvation. Or wait for someone to kill someone else before that happens. At any rate, it's a rather difficult situation. I... Which is the true hope? I'll just follow what everyone else decides. <laughs> if you're going to choose, you should hurry. The longer we keep waiting, the closer we get to death. The conversation ended there. It seems nobody had the energy to keep talking or arguing, so we silently left Grape Tower. I'm just standing, but I feel dizzy. My sense of balance is off. It's like I'm in a rocking boat or something. That doesn't mean I should just stay put. If I just leave this matter alone, something bad might happen. Trying to determine if that's a a real person or a bot. Boop. Uh, it's not like I'm worried, but I should go see how everyone's doing. 
Free time! Free time! Who are we gonna hang out with? Not Nagito. <laughs> Emmy says no! No uh, more. Alright, so we got Gundam, Kazuichi. Alright. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Merva. Sorry about the hesitancy about <laughs> calling that out. I hope you understand. Kazuichi, Akane, and Peko have the same zodiac sign as you. Aw, oh, dang! That's exciting. <laughs> um, so yeah, who do we want to hang out with? Who's going to be our friend? Um, so who's alive? Let's see. We got Gundam, Kazuichi. <laughs> Soda is an option. Uh, Nekamaru, Fuyuhiko, Akane, Chiaki, Sonya. I'm trying to think of like who we haven't hung out with for or with in a while. Kazuichi, I don't think we've hung out with since like chapter two. Um, could hang out with Mechamaru. We could hang out with Mechamaru. Do we want to go hang out with Mechamaru? Yes. <laughs> I mean, he's right here, just watching. A creeping. <laughs> No bodies, not yet. <laughs> Pajime, don't worry about what Kazuichi said. I don't think you're a traitor at all. Yeah, I guess we should invite Nekomaru to hang Understood. out. Yeah, I don't mind. Let's see. Let's try looking for a way to escape. Okay, whatever you say, buddy. Spend time today exploring the fun house with Nekomaru again. We grew a little closer. Nope. We're just not allowed to hang out with anyone. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's the uh, the present situation, which is unfortunate, but we're not doing that this run. Sorry, cleaning my glasses, because they are filthy. Uh, there should still be time for me to move around. What should we do? Do we want to hang out with- Is it really free time? <laughs> I mean, it's time for us to just hang out. Do we want to hang out with And stare at each other like we're made of wood. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Is that a problem? Do you have an issue with that, Emmy? Yeah, I do. <laughs> what you gonna do about it? I guess there's nothing I can do. <laughs> yeah, it does look like you have to, um, give gifts. Press. Okay. Well, that's dumb. Oh, well. It's all you, Allie. Sorry, I was still looking at the apparently you get gifts through a gosh upon. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. It's the uh so that tree on the beach yeah. with the monkey? That's the that's where you get gifts. Yeah. <laughs> How should I put this? I'm going to stop suspecting you for now. I mean, it's a waste of energy anyway. Should I invite Kazuichi to hang out? Man. Doing it for David, I suppose. Well, even if we do talk, there's nothing to talk about. And I don't have the energy to talk anyway. I spent time today staring blankly into space with Kazuichi. We oh, close. It's not bad, though. <laughs> Just sit and stare. I love days like that. Honestly. <laughs> no use. I think I've reached my limit. I'm hungry. I'm hungry, 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 hungry. If this keeps going, if this keeps going until I die, what am I thinking? No, if I stay locked up in this place any longer, I'm seriously going to go crazy. Exit. I need to find the exit. Where is it? Where is the exit? Damn it! Where the fuck is the exit? I think that's the first time that we've heard we've heard Hajime swear. <gasps> that's a swear. <laughs> final uh <coughs> The final dead room is a challenge given to you by Headmaster Monokuma. Only those who win the life-threatening game that occurs in this room will be able to reach the Octagon, the fabled holy land where the ultimate weapon sleeps. 
Now then, if you're feeling heroic and you're willing to risk your life to continue living, you should challenge the final dead room. That's it. There's still that place. Nobody's gone inside there yet. That life-threatening game is just another one of Monokuma's lies. It's possible that the exit is on the other side of that door. That's right, that's definitely it. Then I should go. I should go to the final dead room. I have barely any, any energy left. I can't even run decently. Hajime, I don't think you could run decently before this either. <laughs> oh, I'm so slow though. This is me running. This is like our normal walk speed. It's a nice little touch. I forgot about that. Yeah, that's cool they put that in there. Details. So tired, so hungry. Final dead rooms over in Strawberry. Strawberry, uh, house. Gotta ride that elevator. <laughs> right? Oof. Just stare at all these fruits that you can't eat. Mm-hmm. Just grapes. <laughs> As Perfect. I wobbled and... <laughs> As I wobbled and tripped over my own feet, couldn't help placing both hands on the wall to brace myself. If I win the life-threatening game here, I'll be able to go to that octagon place, right? That's... That's where the exit should be. I did it. I finally did it. I finally figured out where the exit is. I can get out! With this, I can finally get out! I think that's Chiaki. <laughs> you can't do that. Because it's bad. You shouldn't go in there. You won't find what you're looking for. That's not true, Chiaki. The exit's go going to be in here. There is no exit. All that's there is the life-threatening game. Even if you clear it, you'll only obtain the weapon that Monokuma prepared. Do you want the weapon? What are you planning to do once you obtain it? Do you need it? Oh. You had this intense, worried look on your face while you were walking, so I followed you. Sir, take the weapon and eat it. Just fucking eat it. <laughs> it looks like I made the right choice. Let's go back, Hajime. Right? Okay. Okay, fine. <laughs> Chiaki and I went back to Grape House together. The weaker my body gets, the less sense everything seems to make. We're on the verge of starving to death and there's no way to escape. Is it really okay to just lay here and take it? Or... Chiaki's good friends. This morning, I couldn't help feeling angry that I said what I said in front of everyone, but I don't really think that it's okay if we end up starving to death. I need to do something. I need to do something soon. And then, all of a sudden, I began to feel faint and lost consciousness. Oh, Hajime. Whoa! Huh? That was a sound. Sounds like somebody got the weapon. <laughs> How long was I asleep? Not another crutch! Haven't we lost enough in this one game? <laughs> God damn it. I regained my consciousness a little after hearing a faint rumble in the distance. That was faint? What was that sound just now? Was it an earthquake? But I didn't feel the ground move. Oh no, no! Emmy! <laughs> Not the crotch shot! Maybe I'm just. Okay, that was low hanging fruit. Just, just... <laughs> oh my, oh my god, y'all are unstoppable today. Jesus! I love you all. We love, love you, you too. too. <laughs> and as soon as I mumbled that. A feeling of exhaustion that filled me with ambivalence toward everything began to overpower my body. 
Back to bed, I guess. <laughs> and once again, I sank into the depths of unconsciousness. Couldn't skip that line. It wouldn't let me. Emergency. I had been gaming all night until the wee hours of the morning when I decided to go to the convenience store. There I saw some guy with good looks, fancy clothes, nice shoes, and a shiny, expensive car. There's no way a guy like that actually exists. He really lives in a rundown apartment, and all he has is his pride because he doesn't have a stable job or money. But he wants to show off so much that he's forcing himself to do that. From morning till noon, he carries around boxes and furniture for his moving job. And at night, he works at a bar and serves big mugs of beer. But even with that, he still doesn't have enough money, so he sponges off his parents back home. As that fantasy played in my mind in front of the convenience store, I started feeling bad. About myself. Okay, Monokuma. I was going to say, okay. <laughs> okay. My body won't move. This has never happened to me before. I'm awake, but my body feels so heavy that I can't move. Also, it's really cold. Fiercely cold, as if the core of my body is getting numb. But I need to go to Grape Tower. If I don't go to Monokuma Tai Chi, everyone will suffer. Somehow I managed to muster what little strength I had left and crawled out, uh, crawled out of bed. What time is it? Though I felt incredibly weak from hunger, I managed to drag my heavy body to the lounge. It's already five minutes till seven. I really don't want to waste my energy participating in that activity, but if I ignore Monokuma's rule, everyone will get in trouble, not just me. And... I don't even have the energy to complain. Let's go to Great Tower. Let's go. So stompy. <laughs> Whoa. That's not ah, like the, me. Uh, wow. Yeah, the Katamari well. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Sonia, you seem energetic. <laughs> what what's so funny? Amazing. My goodness, Hajime, when did your face become Mont Blanc all of a sudden? She, she's not energetic. She's extremely dangerous. Um just the corner is fine, so may I take a bite out of you? First time you would get into cannibalism. <laughs> I was gonna say, Emmy and Emmy is Sonia confirmed. Sonia uh -huh. is Emmy. Uh -huh. Don't worry about it, David. <laughs> You'd get a stomach ache. Oh my! Now there's an adorable shortcake. <laughs> It's okay, you can always thank them later. <laughs> but yeah, surprise, you got a gift sub. That means you got access to all of our good, good emotes. Yeah, like those ones. And you get a friendly little octopus buddy now. <laughs> I love seeing the octos. Same, same. <laughs> They're very good. <laughs> Maybe Octo Squad. Yes. That's wrong. <laughs> I'm not a shortcake. I'm Chiaki. Why not? Damn both? it, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Chiaki, you too? Are you about to head over to the Great Tower? But welcome back, Lou. Hi, 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 hi. Yep. It's almost time. Come on. If you're too slow, we'll be late. I think we're already late. If we're being. Mm -hmm. If we're being honest. Yeah, you're right. But yeah, Octo Gang, let's go! Let's go! Team, let's go! Then I'll press the button. When I press the button, the door in front of me instantly opened. It was very sudden. I'm scared. That's right. It's always sudden. Dead body! 
the door to despair always opens suddenly. <laughs> oh, no! No! We just got him back, and now he's gone for good. Also, his blood is blue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It do be that. He needs some milk! <laughs> Miss Keisha. Miss Keisha! I saw the remains of our friend. We just got him back, and now he's gone. I am devastated. As well, you, you should are. be. I loved Nekamaru. I don't get to do the Nekamaru voice anymore, and I'm actually kind of upset about that one. Mikan, oh, you, whatever. Ding dong, bing dong. <laughs> ding dong, bing pong. I mean, it's the ding dong, Our bing pong. Has been discovered. Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin. I'm mad. <laughs> Thanks, no. David. Thanks, David. <laughs> A violent shiver coursed through my body. My heart began to pound faster and faster, and I could feel the blood in my head pulsating in uh, intensely. My teeth were chattering with horror. What the hell is this? When I was finally able to speak, my voice sounded so small I could barely hear it myself. <laughs> take, take a second. Drink some water. Breathe. Cry a couple of tears for our good, good boy. Why... why is this happening? It's so strange. He finally... he finally came back to us. It's important that you see his body. I'm sorry. You gotta, you gotta look. If this is a nightmare, please just let me wake up. I couldn't think of any other way to describe it. Nekamaru... No, this is a lie, right? This is just... Based on our situation and the body discovery announcement. It's unfortunate, but there's no doubt that a, another killing has happened. Killing... I can't deny this truth, but... Why? As usual, that was the only word I could squeeze out. <laughs> Got him! <laughs> no! Hey, what happens? A Akane? Move. Move! Move it! Akane pushed me aside and ran straight over to Nekomaru. Why? Why is Nekomaru... Why did he have to die again? He'll never be able to do it to you ever again, Akane. I never paid you back. I never paid you back. For your help last time. <laughs> <laughs> they they do be sobbing. <laughs> it's cause Akane and Nekamaru were a good good item. Not anymore. Oh, Th this is just too much. Why? Why did Ma Nekamaru have to die? Though his appearance was drastically altered, he still came back to us. Why? Why does this always happen? No matter how much I try to stop it, this is always the result. You can't control people, Chiaki. Is this something I can't stop? Damn it. Hey, Nekomaru got killed, right? That announcement means what I think it means, right? I won't forgive you. Hey, who did it? Who killed Nekomaru? Maya! Looks like someone is finally pumped up! You. you. Hey, you know who did it, right? Who killed Nekamaru? What? What do you want? Don't get mad at me all of a sudden! In fact, I'm the one who should be mad! <laughs> I went to a lot of trouble to bring Nekamaru back from the dead, and he already let the killer break him! <laughs> now, disappointingly foolish. Maybe he had a few screws loose? You know, cause he's a robot! You talking about Nekomaru? 
Oh no. Uh, Kane, calm down! Use those powers that your anger is awoken for the investigation. Um, um Monokuma, is there any way you can fix Nekamaru? Hmm. hmm. I could have fixed him if his head was still attached. But since he's like this, it's impossible. Plus, last time this happened, it was my fault. But this time, the killer is one of you guys. Yep. I'm under no obligation to fix him for you. I guess it was a waste of time to ask him. In other words... A life that dies once will never return twice. That's reality for ya! So... so, even though it's getting a little boring, let's get on with the usual routine. <laughs> also, this is a gift from me to you. Everyday milk. Quick, give it to Nekomaru! Oh no! He needs milk! I brought you guys a present since the killing went off without a hitch. Besides, if I don't feed you, you guys probably won't last long enough for the class trial. I'll definitely find out who killed Coach Nekomaru. And after I kill that guy, you're next. I'll definitely destroy you. So even though it sucks, I'm gonna eat first. If I don't get some food in me, I can't unleash my full power. You're right. If we're gonna avenge Mechamaru, we gotta regain as much energy as we can. Mechamaru. Damn it, I'm gonna eat. See? Come on, Hajime, you too. Yeah, you're right. I've been waiting to eat something for so long. Damn it, I never expected I'd feel this terrible when I finally ate again. Hey, hey. Eat it slowly! It'd be bad if you got a stomach ache. We ate our food in silence. Slowly, my blood began coursing through my veins. I started to slowly regain feeling in my or I started to slowly regain feeling in my numb body. Whew. Isn't that wonderful? Looks like you've gotten your energy back. Then let's hurry up and start already. I'm gonna do it. The killer and you? I'm gonna beat the shit out of both of you with my bare hands. Uh, um, regardless of whether we start or not, what has happened to the others? They appear to be extremely late. <laughs> it would be bad if you got awful diarrhea. I don't think there are any bathrooms around here. We haven't- well, no, JK, we have seen bathrooms. Never mind. Where? <laughs> Uh, first floor of both houses. Oh. They're kind of off in the corner. There are no and person. And the um, old house, or the old building that they were in for the first one. Because that's where Pekka was the whole time. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. true. I guess I was thinking mostly this one. Because she had out. diarrhea. Yeah, she did, that poor thing. <laughs> oh, Pekko. A toilet check passed. Facts. Got it. You gotta know where the toilet is at any given moment. Who knows when you're gonna need it. Oh, I didn't read that. Oopsies. Oopsies! What was it? You mean the guys in Strawberry House? Now that you mentioned it, no one's here. Oh, right! None of the boys are here. Okay. That's weird. They should have come to Grape Tower because we had, uh, Monokuma Tai Chi. Jeez, how unacceptable! I never expected all of you to ditch Monokuma Tai Chi! Honestly, it was way beyond my expectations. What are you gonna do? Well, since it happened anyway, I guess it's what- uh, or I guess it is what it is. Everyone ditched? Does everyone include us too? Do your best. <laughs> now do your best to investigate. I'll see you again at the class trial. Hmm? I hear- I hear something. Um. Huh? What do you hear? What do your werewolf ears hear? Could it be Negamaru? Damn it. Of course not. He's already dead. Yo. Oh well. Now's not the time to worry about that sound. That sound? What are you talking about? I don't hear anything. Um. And what about it's... Gundam and the others? Is it alright that we have not summoned them here? Oh my god, you guys! Sorry. <laughs> what was that, Allie? It's her werewolf ears that she can hear that with. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> what do your werewolf ears hear? Mm -hmm. Alright, 
Can we get that line again, Emmy? Sorry. And what about Gundam and the others? Is it all right that we have not summoned them here? Huh. They're going to come here soon anyway. Now's not the time to worry about them. You're right. They should have heard the body discovery announcement already. They'll probably come soon. Maybe. Yep. Then we should start the investigation soon. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, you're right. I gotta do it. I have to do it. Oh boy. First, I need to look at the Monokuma file. God, is it really only chapter four? Wowie. The victim is Nekamaru Nidai, aka Mechamaru, after his robotic transformation. His body was discovered in Grape Tower, which is inside the Fun House. His head is severely damaged and beyond repair, so that shall be considered the cause of death. Despite the fact that his arms and legs are dismembered, these limbs were actually designed to be detachable, and it seems they separated due to a severe impact. Aside from that, several other areas of his body are damaged. Because of this, many of his functions seem to have shut down. No more soda! His arms and legs were detachable, and it looks like they separated due to a severe impact. Does that mean Nekamaru was repeatedly clubbed with some sort of weapon? But was there a reason they needed to club him over and over again? Hi, Devo. Do you scream? Did you find anything? Look, looks like you haven't found anything yet. Need clues, right? I'll remember something, so just wait for it. Looks like that's gonna be a little hard. Oh, I remember. There is something I thought was weird. Um, it happened early in the morning. Yeah, he's just over here screaming. Don't mind him. <laughs> You're going back that far? Come on, you noticed it too, right? You heard that rumbling sound. Rumbling? What was that sound just now? Hi, come here. No, you gotta hop up. Don't just show me your butt. Come here. Good boy. Do you want to say hello? Just a quick, quick hello. Devo. It's Devo. Thank you for the licks, buddy. Can you lay down? Good boy. You've done it He's so, so good. good. Only sometimes. His, his and Mork's birthday were yesterday. Really? Yeah, they're three years old now. He's a big boy. Hi. <laughs> it's a Devo. I need you to put your feet up, though, buddy. Okay, thanks. It's the birthday. I mean, it's really more of his, like, gotcha day. But <laughs> he was a baby when we got him. Like, fresh. A few months old. They were so tiny. They were so tiny. I mean, they could have been more than, like, a month and a half, two months old when we found him. Yeah, it was your gotcha birthday. Uh, what was that sound just now? Was it an earthquake? But I didn't feel the ground move. Cause I'm just thinking too much. Hi, happy boy. Um, I was sleeping pretty heavy, so I wouldn't think about how hungry I was. But that noise woke me up. I ran out of my room without thinking, and after I did that, then what happened? I didn't see anything, and it looked like the others didn't come out of their rooms either. I felt pretty dumb for being the only one who came out, so I went back to my room and fell back asleep. In the end, I never found out what the sound was, but it's been on my mind for a while. You know, now that you mention it, it does seem strange. Just, what was that sound? You don't know either? Well, I should tell you in more detail. When I ran out of my room, I happened to glance at the lounge clock. Hi, can you not stare at me? <laughs> Said it was around 5.30 a.m. Will you be able to find out anything from the, uh, with that info? I didn't think that rumbling noise happened that early in the morning, but I'm not really sure if that noise pertains to the incident or not. Why? Hmm. What the hell? I went to the trouble of remembering that and you've got nothing? 
Jeez, you're so damn useless. She seems agitated. Well, it's understandable. You're very warm also, Devo. Like, uncomfortably warm. Huh? Huh? What's this? Dougie. Oh, hi. How's it going, friend? Hold on. I gotta yeet this cat out of my lap. He's too heavy and too hot. <laughs> no! Dougie, no! <laughs> also, thank you, Allie, for getting the shout out. I was about to do that, but Devo in my lap. How are you liking Death's Door, by the way? I need to pick it up and play it. <laughs> um, did you find something? Yeah. Um, under Negamaru's body. No, wait. There are small rock like fragments underneath Mekamaru's body. It's 120 in the morning, Lou? Go to bed! Go! Go to sleep! <laughs> you goober! <laughs> Just replace the name Fruity with, uh, with Lou Doobie Vibin'. <laughs> Lou Doobie Sleepin'. Thank you for stopping in, though, friend. I really, really appreciate it. It's always nice to hear from you. Um,. Have a good one. Do a big sleep. We'll see you next time. Split gate? What is this? Also, I, I mean, I should have known. I should have known that Lou streams. Because those frogs oh, yeah. are... Because those... <laughs> those frogs are Lou... Uh, are Lou emotes. Mm -hmm. I'm, gonna have, I'm gonna have to stop in sometime. Say hi. Oh, See what's man, going on. I love I love GeoGuessr on Monday afternoons. It's just my favorite thing. <laughs> Sounds good. No, definitely gonna have to good stop night, in Lou. And say hi. Night, Lou. See you later. Um, Nakamaru's hiding little rocks. You didn't need to correct yourself like that. And what do you mean rock-like fragments? Here, look. There are a lot of these small fragments. It's like they fell under Mekamaru's body. Well... But oddly enough, though these fragments are underneath Mekamaru's body, there are hardly any on top of his body at all. What's strange about that? Is there a problem that they're not on top of his body? Yep. If you don't know, it's okay. It probably means they're not that important. That's, a, that's some Chiaki's ass coming through. Well, if you put it like that, no one can't help but think they're important. Pillar fragments? <laughs> Alright, what does everyone gotta say? Um, in this case, this Monokuma file, there is no written time of death, right? Didn't that happen when Ibuki and Hyoko died too? Oh, did it? But the reason the time of death wasn't mentioned when those two died was because the time of death was key to the mystery surrounding their murder. Could that be the case this time, too? By the way, I would like to confirm this just in case. Ultimately, is it safe to assume that Grape Tower and Strawberry Tower are the same building? Well, that's the only thing we can think of. Even when we experimented with Chiaki's handbook and left it in Great Tower, it still showed up in Strawberry Tower. Which means? The reason each tower's wall is different colors is because the floor lighting is changing the colors. The reason Usami's floor portrait is different in each tower is because it is merely a projection. Sorry, my dumbass was like, who's Usami? <laughs> right? Monami. It's Monami. Yeah, that should be the case. Then it is decided the two towers are the same building. Which means the scene of the crime is si simultaneous. <laughs> you got this. It is the Grape Tower and Strawberry Tower. <laughs> <laughs> Grape Tower and Strawberry Tower are the same building? How does that pertain to Nekamaru's murder? reasons. Alright, what all can we look at? Holy shit! Everything. 
basically. Uh, along the tower floor, there appear to be many lights built into the floor illuminating the wall. Because of these lights, the walls and the interior design of the tower look green. However, because these lights are shining on the walls, the ceiling is pretty dark and I can't really see it. But there's nothing strange about the lights, so they probably have nothing to do with the case. Alright, let's just go left to right. <laughs> pillar next to the door is tipped over and broken. Did this pillar break when it fell over? Not just that, there's a strange liquid on the upper section of the pillar. Is this Nekamaru's oil? This is the only pillar that's tipped over. The other one is still standing. Blue! Plus, behind me is the door to Great Paul. They have to differentiate it that it's not actual blood, but it is robot blood. Mm -hmm. Totally different. <laughs> Absolutely different. Absolutely different. <laughs> uh, the two pillars on each side of that door haven't changed either. They're not tipped over. Surprise the oil. Like, this isn't, like, the, the Psycho Pop coloring that they do for, like, the regular blood. His oil is actually blue because they need his color theme to match inside and out. This is the actual mm -hmm. color of the oil. Surprise. <laughs> uh, it's strange that this pillar is the only one that's tipped over. It might mean something. Huh. I see. I got it! Got what? It to me. This pillar is the weapon! The killer used this to beat up Coach Nekamaru. Th this huge pillar? Damn it. If you got uh, socked for something like this, even Coach Nekamaru wouldn't stand a chance. Yeah, well, that's impossible. It'd be too heavy to wield as a weapon. How'd you make? Grab that end over there. Huh? We have to try it out, obviously. Come on, hurry up. F fine. Jeez, you're more forceful than usual. <laughs> She's trying so hard. Tell you? All right. If that's how it's gonna be, my body can take it. Power! Time three! No, seriously, just give it up already. Why? It, it's no use. It won't even budge. If two people can't even move this pillar, then it's impossible to use it as a bludgeoning weapon. Well, there's only one person who could have lifted something like this. Robo Coach Nekomaru. He's definitely the only one. Tipped over pillar. Alright. Stop! It's hammer time. An enormous hammer has been carelessly left on the floor. It's like, it's suspicious because it stands out so much. How cool. Don't, don't OM, OMG me, Emmy. Oh my god. Oh my god! Perhaps that hammer is the weapon that broke Nekamaru? I do believe a weapon of that size is capable of damaging ne Nekamaru. Not hammers. <laughs> Not this again. This hammer is the weapon? But it looks a little too clean. It's almost like it's new or something. It is strange, no? Also, where did the killer obtain this hammer? Prior to now, I do not believe I have ever seen an object like this. Was it hidden somewhere? Good point. There's no supermarket in here. Wonder where they obtained it from. A new looking hammer. Oh. It's Nekomaru's body. It's cruelly broken. It looks like it's been so severely damaged that even his head is dented. I hate it's it! That'd be the fatal wound, right? But Nekomaru's robot body should have been durable enough to withstand any assault. For Nekomaru to be this damaged, it can only mean whoever attacked Nekomaru didn't hold back. Surprise, he had that same flaw that the handbooks in, in game one had, where if you put him in a really hot, muggy room, he'll short circuit. Um, and then... And then Mondo came by and mm -hmm. beat him with uh, a, a dumbbell, and and mm -hmm. and then we get Mondo butter. <laughs> case case solved. Help. 
<laughs> now's probably not the best time to think of this, uh, think this, but I guess Nekomaru was really transformed into a robot, huh? I was getting used to the idea, but now that I think about it, robots are definitely unusual. Well, it doesn't matter if he was a robot or not. Either way, Nekomaru was still killed. Definitely strange, isn't it? Hmm? Huh? What is? Well, if they wanted to kill him, they could have just destroyed his head. Why did they destroy his entire body, too? Maybe they didn't know how to kill a robot, so they damaged him all over. Yeah. They went against Coach Nekomaru! He ain't the type to die easily! He obviously didn't find him head on, but even then, he wouldn't leave himself open to attack. You're right. In fact, that's the biggest mystery. Nekomaru I figured it out! <laughs> yeah? Do you Should wanna, I share? Do you want to share with the class? Okay, so I'm guessing that he was in sleep mode and someone took him over and did something with the door and they had the mallet and they hit the pillar and then it fell on him and crushed him. That's why it's not just in one spot. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Alright, okay. <laughs> MacGuffin, hello, welcome. <laughs> I mean that's a that's a that's a fairly solid theory. Uh I don't do you really have... know why the door's like that. Reasons. <laughs> do you have a do you have a suspect in mind just yet, or are you uh still open to uh figuring it out? I mean I guess we really haven't talked to anyone, have we? I think it must be one of the guys, because then otherwise, why would you lock the door? Fair I enough. Don't know. But how would you be able to do that? Anyway! <laughs> Thanks to thank God. Awesome! We love to see it. Um, just as a heads up, uh, MacGuffin, uh, I have played the Danganronpa games before, so I am familiar with them. However, we are a sp uh, sp <laughs> oh my god, let me just choke. On air. <laughs> Boiler free stream. Thank you. A, sp <laughs> A spoiler free stream. There we go. I love, I love choking on nothing. Um, I'm hydrating. Y'all, there's too many David. hydrates. It's fine. We'll get, we'll get all of it. I need to drink more water anyway. Um... But yeah, we are a spoiler-free free stream, um, so so keep all the keep all the the spoilers all hush hush for the time being. Um, but welcome, we're happy to have you here. There's one hydrate. Oh my god. And there's two hydrates. I already need to refill my cup. <laughs> all right. Um. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, I'm definitely here to, like, hear um, guesses and theories from people who, like, haven't played the game before. Because uh, that's, like, half the fun for me is seeing what uh, people who are new to the series think. But yeah, for those of you who know what's up, hush hush. <laughs> Alright, Nekomaru was even stronger after he became a robot. I can't think of anyone who'd be capable of killing him. Anyway, this alone isn't enough information. I should investigate a, a little more thoroughly. Ooh, hiccups. Alright. This fluid flowing out of Nekomaru's body, based on the smell, it seems like oil. Lick it. Fucking eat it. Eat it like Chiaki ate that transparent say, blob. Isn't that Chiaki's job? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta give her a break sometimes, okay? She can't eat all the weird things. Uh, it seems to be flowing heaviest from Nekomaru's head, probably because that's where the fatal blow was dealt. This oil for Nekomaru, or this oil for Nekomaru, this might be similar to normal blood in humans. She's too busy drinking milk. He needs some milk. Why are you screaming? Are you done? He needs some milk. You need some milk. No, you don't. No milk for Devo. I don't think he would eat it. He doesn't eat anything. Except his food. Um. 
<laughs> I'm here for fake theories. I'm here for those. Make it as outrageous and ridiculous as possible. Um, I'm curious, what is what is your other favorite case? Which game, which chapter? I'll know what's up. <laughs> um, which means all this oil is just a pool of robot blood. Anyway, that's a whole lot of oil. It's not gonna be easy to clean up. No, now's not the time to even worry about that. All right, let's look at his head. That sweet, sweet noggin. Hmm? There's something protruding from behind Nekomaru's neck. Is this? That's right, it's a cutting edge function that puts my other functions to sleep, even if I have insomnia. Just press the good night button on the back of my neck and I'll be forced to enter sleep mode. Um. Oh, it's a good one. It's a good one. <laughs> Good, good chapters. Good chapters. <laughs> Maybe the killer pressed this button and made Nekomaru enter sleep mode. No, absolutely. They're both. They're ugh. late game for most of the Danganronpa games are very good. Um, they're just all good. I just like all of it. That that from 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 the time you click in to the time that you click out. That's my favorite part. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but still, it's hard to think the killer was able to easily press a button on the back of Nekomaru's neck. Even if Nekomaru was ambushed, it still wouldn't be easy. Alright, got the good night button. Stare at his pecs a little bit. The cover on his chest is open slightly, but it won't open much more because the cover's all messed up. If only Kazuichi was here, we might have been able to open it. Jeez, what the heck could he be doing right now? There's a sturdy metal wire tied to Nekomaru's left leg. The same wire is tied to his arms. It's almost like he was bound up or something. <laughs> it's a tarp! But even if they it's bound him up... <laughs> even if they bound him up, the killer still had to deal with a robotic Nekomaru first. It's the only downside to, to this particular game, is there is a lack of tarps? <laughs> Who did this and how were they able to bind Nekamaru? Also, the tip of this wire... It looks like it's been tied in a loop, but... What was the point of this? Metal wire! Were there tarps in Titty Typhoon? There might have been. I know there was like a bunch of wallpapers. There might have been tarps there. If there are going to be tarps, it would be a Titty Typhoon. <laughs> Alright, was that... <laughs> Got that good, good Kazuichi representation? He's like... We've already vaguely discussed this. He's like one of my least favorite characters. <laughs> I will take him over Teru Teru any day, but I'm a I'm a Nekamaru fan. I love me my Nekamaru. <laughs> to be fair though, there are so many good characters in this one. I feel like I was a lot more picky with the first game. I didn't love all the characters nearly as much as I love most of the characters in this one. And I absolutely adore practically every single fucking character in uh, V3. They're all <laughs> beautiful beans. <laughs> Team Soda! Just really looked out. Boo Hiko! Yes! Uh, yes! Uh. Uh, what is this? The door at the far back has a chain wrapped around the doorknob. It looks like it's a sturdy metal chain. It's wrapped around the doorknob from every direction, and it even has a padlock on it. Oh, <laughs> right? Right, you just got it. The list just keeps going on. They're all so good. I think through the entire series, Kokichi from V3 is my all-time favorite. I'll let that say what it does about me as a human being. 
<laughs> I'm so excited for when we get to V3, though. It's gonna be a wild ride. Why did they do something like this? Perhaps this was used as an alternative to locking the door with a key? If that's the case, you wouldn't be able to enter this tower from the Strawberry Hall side. Excuse me. After all, this door should lead to Strawberry Hall. You are right. If they barred this side of the door with a chain, it would be impossible to open it from Strawberry Hall. But still, why would they need to bar the door to Strawberry Hall? Chain! I guess for now I've checked out everything in this place that caught my attention. What is it? You seem lost in thought. Hmm. hmm. Well... The final dead room. The final dead room? What the heck? Why are you bringing up that place all of a sudden? Well, the hammer on the floor, the chain wrapped around the door at the far back, and the wire that tied up Mekamaru, all the evidence at this crime scene consists of things we've never seen inside this building, doesn't it? But as long as we can't leave, then there's no doubt that they came from somewhere within this building. So that's why you mentioned the final dead room. Monokuma said beyond that room, there's an ultimate weapon in a place called the Octagon? Yeah, so if we think of that place like an armory, then that's where the killer obtained their tools, right? Excuse me, I'm just jamming out to the music over here. It's good. Oh, so that's <laughs> you, Emmy. Oh, I was just reading chat. Oh, it's a baby gangster. Don't worry about yeah, it. Yeah, I got distracted. <laughs> if so, let us go confirm it. No, that's dangerous. If you go in there, you have to play the life-threatening game. Then, I'll be the one who tries to confirm it. Huh? What are you saying? You were the one who said that place was dangerous, right? Yeah. Man, it's noisy. I can't focus with all this noise. Sorry. Not like that. It's not you guys. There's a sound that's been ringing since before the investigation started. A ringing sound since before the investigation. That reminds me, you've been mentioning that sound for a while, haven't you? Hey, hey. Akane, what kind of sound is it? Um, it's like this high-pitched alarm clock sound. The closed captions are very not accurate sometimes, and I'm still trying to find a better closed, cra closed caption program um, to use, but they got some- there's some wild takes in the captions sometimes. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Yeah, closed caption. Don't mind me, as I <laughs> don't know how to talk. But it's accurate. <laughs> also, sup, Deepooly? How's it going? Can I get a shout out for our buddy? Yep, got it. Thanks. <laughs> no, the answer to that is no. No one does. That did weird things. Why was yeah. That? Why did? It... Okay. Move on. <laughs> The last thing you played was, was Resident Evil, right? I was there for that, right? I don't know what time is anymore. I don't know how many days ago that was. I think that was just like two days ago. Anyway, if y'all don't follow Defoo, you should. They're a delight. Got some good games. Also just a wonderful human being. <laughs> um, It's probably rain from upstairs. How are you doing though, Defoo Lee? How's it going? Could it be? Maybe it's better if we go check out that sound first. <gasps> You're playing Dark Side Detective? I did that just a couple of months ago. It's a very good game. I hope you thoroughly enjoy it. Also... 
Oh wait, you don't like milk chocolate or white chocolate. Wait, oh no, it's a bag of white white milk chocolate and dark. Okay, I see. I understand. I missed a word in there and I was like, why are you eating a bag of M&Ms if all of the chocolate that's in it is stuff that you don't like? It's because it's got the three types. I understand. Untired your brain. Chill out. Relax. Hang out. Take it easy. Drink some water. <laughs> you got this. <laughs> I hope us screaming about this game helps you untired a little bit. Hmm. Are you gonna go check it out? And then you guys go. I, I'll sit here. Then I shall wait here as well. Please be careful, you two. <laughs> Sonia's okay, but how come you're not going, Okane? Hey. Well, that sound is annoying, and I don't really feel like leaving. Hey, hey. Hachime, it's okay if it's just two of us. Come on, Akane said she wants to stay here. Let her mourn in peace. Huh? Oh, I get it. She, she doesn't want to leave Nekamaru's side. I don't know if she's actually aware of that or not. Let's go, Hajime. Yeah, if you say so. I should get out of here for now. Let's go. Hajime, let's go. Team, let's go! Can you hear it? Can you hear the sound? I can hear the sound. I can't hear it. I just hear the the poppin' music. It's very faint. Oh, yeah! Death room. Nope, you're right. Final dead room. Oh. Oh, now I hear it. Is it in here? It is in here. It's the phone. Okay. Jeez, yeah. it's so noisy. It looks like that phone is ringing. The phone, huh? I guess I'll answer it. Surprise, I'm real life Akane. Standing downstairs. What the fuck is that sound? Mm -hmm. I Let's feel see. that. <laughs> Gotta answer the fucking phone. Gotta get it. Oh my god, answer it. Nope. Just pick up the receiver and press the strawberry button, right? Damn right. <laughs> oh, you finally answered. That voice. Is that you, Fuyuhiko? Jeez. Look, yeah, it is. <laughs> Jeez, do you know how long the phone was ringing? I was getting worried that no one would pick up. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Are you all still in Strawberry House? Even if we wanted to go over there, we can't. Looks like someone broke the damn elevator. It's not moving at all. And we can't enter the tower from Strawberry Hall because the door button here is broken, too. So basically, we're sitting ducks here. Ooh. Not only is the elevator broken, but the strawberry hall door button is broken too? Hey, bastard. hey, are you listening? Yeah, I'm listening. Anyway, everyone in Strawberry House is safe, right? We're safe, but... Oh. <laughs> oh, it makes me so sad. Oh. <laughs> can't find Nekamaru anywhere. Do you know anything? Hey, friend, about that? I'm Didn't you cry. hear? <laughs> I'm so sorry, Abby. Didn't you hear the body discovery announcement earlier? Damn it. So that's what it was. Shit. Why did it have to be Nekamaru? He just came back to us. Where was he killed? Grape Tower. When I went there this morning, he was already... I see. I see. Grape Tower. If the door to Strawberry Hall wasn't broken, we'd be able to enter the tower and... Holy shit, that's it. The killer broke the elevator and the Strawberry Hall door. So they could split everyone up and prevent us from doing a proper investigation. Damn it, that dirty bastard. 
What about another way? Is there any way you guys can come to this side? Oh, yeah. I guess we just have to let Kazuichi handle it. He said he'd take care of the elevator. I guess he's our only hope right now. Don't say hope. You're right. <sighs> Besides, if he doesn't stand out now, uh, when the hell will he, right? Based on what Kazuichi said, it's going to be hard for him to fix the strawberry hall door without parts. He said he might be able to do something about the broken elevator. We'll be waiting. Are you guys gonna be okay? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Damn right! Yeah, Sorry. we'll head over there as soon as Kazuichi fixes the elevator. I thought I had clicked and apparently I hadn't. Until then, it's up to you bastards. So, the call came from Strawberry House? It came from inside the house! <laughs> Apparently, the others can't come over here because the elevator is broken. There's no doubt this is the killer's doing. They prevented the others from coming to the crime scene. As long as the elevator is out of commission, those guys won't be able to investigate. But that's not all. For some reason, even the door button to Strawberry Hall is broken, too. The door button to Strawberry Hall? Mm. Then that door, is it blocked from both sides? There's a sturdy chain tied around it from the inside, and if the button is also broken on the outside, then... Yeah, that seems to be the case. Mm. Hmm... Why did the kid need to block both sides of the door? I'm not sure, but there's something strange about that. Um, I'd like to investigate that in more detail, but... If they can't come over here, then we can't go over there. Yep. Which means, for now, it's impossible to check the final bedroom. Not entirely comfortable with you going over there, but... Regardless, it's impossible now anyway. Apparently, Kazuichi's repairing the elevator. All we can do now is put our hope on him. In him. <laughs> You're right. But Monokuma isn't going to wait. I don't know that- <laughs> You missed the earlier times. He got bold. Yeah. <laughs> he gotta nip it in the bud, Emmy. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't we have that much time before the class trial starts. David. <laughs> David, do we gotta do we gotta time you out? <laughs> I hope cousin she can fix it soon. If not We should make a uh, a hope emote just for David. <laughs> oh gosh. Hey. Are you even listening? Hey, bastard. Okay. Hey, are you listening? There was no there was no hints as to who that was. <laughs> Damn right. Oh no! No, I forgot oh! about this! It's fine. <laughs> Nagito, I'm talking to you. It's your time to shine, Allie. Yeah, it is. Huh? Jeez. Don't haw me. I figured you weren't even listening. Sorry, I was just thinking. <laughs> you were probably thinking of something messed up, weren't you? But I have been listening to you. Nekomaru was killed, right? Then that body discovery announcement was referring to him. Out of everyone here, it just had to be Nekamaru. After what he went through to come back to us. Damn it. It's tantamount to be uh, to being killed twice. Truly, he was a man burdened by terrible misfortune. Okay, so now that we know the situation over there is all right. Yeah, is it all right if I go ahead and fix the elevator? Uh 
it is it all right if you wait a little bit longer before you do that we should get the monaco if i all right <laughs> whoa he's here it seems you guys have noticed that the incident has taken place so this is for you red bean bread and milk yeah and there's a bonus item it's Do your best. Come on, satisfy your hunger with this and do your very best to investigate the It's the Monokuma File sound clip used to be my ringtone for a while. And then I got tired of Monokuma screaming at me all the time. <laughs> Why is the Monokuma File being treated like a bonus item? <sighs> Whatever, man. Let's just eat. Eating should come first right now. Damn right. You're right. It's okay if you guys eat, but can you hear me out while you're at it? What is it? Well, I was thinking about what we should do, and I wanted to discuss it. Even so. Thanks to the killer, we can't even go to the crime scene. We have to wait until Kazuichi fixes the elevator. True. There is no doubt that the killer is responsible. But it seems as though they made a huge mistake. There's no way the symbols of hope give up because of this little setback. There's no way everyone will just cross their arms and wait for the class trial to start. We need to do everything we can on our end to prepare for the class trial, right? David. <laughs> shrimp track from well, date or er, yeah. from Travis. Someone, someone is wanting a shrimp check. <laughs> reading, reading Travis's name, but having Emmy scream David in my ear. <laughs> my my brain says no. All right. <laughs> Thank you for the shrimp check, Travis. <laughs> it seems that we too shall begin the investigation on our end. Though it remains unclear how much we can do. Is this acceptable? If I show my serious side, things will not end with mere child's play. Ah, uh, I'm so glad. I knew you guys were pumped up from the start. How beautiful. Even though you guys are suffering from despair, I can see that you guys are still fighting for hope. Ah, uh, such beauty. There is no higher honor for me than to uh, than to investigate this murder with you guys. So, we need to be grateful towards Nekamaru for becoming the foundation of this hope. Well, regardless... Whose side should I be on for this case? The killer? Or the rest of you guys? I must make sure I face this case's mystery properly if I'm going to find out which side is the true hope. Aha! Aha! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Okay, before we fully get into the investigation. Oh, that was the wrong button. We need to take a quick break, because your girl's gotta go to the bathroom. Um, so get up, stretch your legs. Take a break. We'll be RB. We'll be RB. Break time. Cool.
Oh. Are we all back? I'm here. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, fine. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Pop on over here. Let me turn Spotify off. Spotify, get out of here. I guess I should probably also turn the game back on. All right. It's music, though. It's good music. Always good music. All right. I don't think we read this. So, Annie, oh. if you'd like to... Yo. Hey, you guys. Why don't we try arranging the sequence of events in this case? Hey, you guys. <laughs> you know, so we can properly understand the situation we're in. I have no objection. Proceed. Then let's look back at what happened this morning. We tried to use the elevator so we could participate in Monokuma Tai Chi, right? Damn right. Since we're staying at Strawberry House, in order for us to get to the meeting spot at Grape Tower... Sorry, I'm just vibing. <laughs> we needed to use the elevator first and go to Grape, Tow uh, Grape House. Sounds good, MacGuffin. Thanks for stopping in. We appreciate the lurk. That was before 7 a.m. since it was right before Monokuma Tai Chi. Yeah. But once we realized the elevator was disabled, I seriously Annie. panicked. Sorry. <laughs> and Jeez. since we couldn't do anything about it, we just... Jeez. Tried to get inside the tower from Strawberry Hall. But when we actually got there, the button on the hall was broken. I basically just need to not have my hand on the mouse during dialogue. Thanks to that, we couldn't enter the tower at all. <laughs> so Fuyuhiko suggested that we use the phone and call- Ooh, call, call Great House. It's <laughs> all good. Too, going on. <laughs> Take a moment. <laughs> and that was everything that happened this morning. I must say, I'm surprised. Never expected that the elevator would be disabled. Uh, but then how was Nekamaru able to go to Grape Tower? Man. Well, obviously, he went before the elevator was disabled. And when was that? Ooh. Idiot, if we knew that, this wouldn't be difficult. No, we might know what time he went to Grape Tower. You serious? Huh? Seriously? I... It was around sunrise. That's when I saw him going down to the first floor. What? You mean, you personally witnessed Nekumaru going to Grape Tower? Hey, hey! When was the sunrise? Was it before that rumbling sound? Huh? Rumbling sound. Huh? What? You don't remember? Right after the clock in the lounge started ringing, we heard a rumbling noise. Did that clock even ring in the first place? Hey, hey, hey! You didn't notice that either? Serious! That thing was super loud. Huh. That's weird. Hmm, I feel like we're not quite on the same wavelength. Well, it is what it is. There's no way you guys will ever be on the same lane wavelength as trash like me. Mm -hmm. Looks like this is leading to an interesting development. Alright. Hey, Kazuichi. If you don't mind, can you inform me? That stuff about a rumbling noise and the ringing clock, what was that all about? Seriously? You don't know? You're so kind, Kazuichi. Thank you for actually ta taking the time to explain it to me. Uh. Huh? Huh. <laughs> so that's how it is. 
fine. I'll tell you. It, it happened last night. I was sleeping peacefully in my room when all of a sudden I heard this huge sound. Whoa, the hell? The sound was super loud, so I rushed out of my room. And as I went down the hall towards the lounge. Hey! What are you doing? This rock is it's louder than the supreme ruler of the netherworld bellowing for a sacrifice. Don't go making all that noise so suddenly. It's not me. The wall clock just started ringing. I was just trying to stop it. Then hurry up and stop it already. I you will not. I know. I'm <laughs> in the middle of doing that. And that's when the fa sound finally stopped. Uh, man, that totally freaked me out. Well, I'm definitely wide awake now. What did you do to My me? mental defenses were, bom were bombarded with sonic resonance. No! For you, Hiko! Was this not your doing just now? Shut up! Why would anyone do something so childish? You must have rushed over after hearing that sound, but you sure seem to get here pretty fast. Well, yeah. Well, I didn't rush over here. I was at the lounge by coincidence. Coincidence? Hmm? But what? Do you doubt me? Whatever, I don't really give a crap, but it's 5.30 a.m. Oh, man. Man, thanks to Fuyuhiko, I woke up early for no reason. I should go back to sleep. Hmm? What was that sound? What's going on? Er earthquake? This pressure did not feel like it shook. Hey, 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 hey. There's no way this building is going to collapse, right? Hey, Kazuichi, stop clinging to me. <laughs> and that's what happened. I see. So you're the one who is clinging to Fuyuhiko. That's obviously wrong. That that's not the important part. And what happened afterward? Did you guys just separate? Hey. We decided to wait things out. But in the end, nothing else happened. Also. And not just that, we all felt really weak, so we decided to go back to our rooms for a while. Hmm, I see. Yep, what you said just now was extremely important. Thanks to that, I thought, I thought of one suspicious person. What? Who were you talking about? Me, of course. Huh? I mean, isn't it strange? I was the only one who didn't notice an alarm that was so loud everyone else came out of their rooms. Well, the same goes for the rumbling noise that you guys heard after that. Why you? Hey, you better not be trying to confuse the shit out of us. Of course not. I'm not. For now. Hey, hey, hey. That for now line is what's making us worry e uh, even more worried. It's a classic Travis move. It is a classic Travis move. <laughs> anyway, it seems there's no doubt that what you guys just told me is a very important clue. The wall clock alarm you heard first, and the rumbling noise that came right after. Now then, how do these noises relate to this case? Real talk, because I can't remember. Aren't the fancy rooms soundproof? I don't know. Wasn't that one of the selling points? Okay. <laughs> not me not being able to remember. Hey. Oh yeah, one was soundproof. <laughs> hey, you said that you witnessed Nekomaru at sunrise, right? Can you explain it? that to me in a little more detail I I was so hungry yesterday that I couldn't sleep I figured it was nearly morning so I went to go check the clock in the lounge it 
turns out I was totally off. It's still around 5 a.m. Hey. And that's when it happened. I heard the sound of the door closing off in the distance. When I stuck my head out from the lounge... You saw those cakes. <laughs> <laughs> I saw Nekumaru's back. He was about to go down to the first floor. The clap of these ass cheeks alerted everybody. <laughs> I thought about running after him, but I didn't have the energy or willpower to do it. I hadn't thought about what the back of Fuyuhiko's head looked like. Now you know! <laughs> <laughs> if I had knew something like this would happen, I would have mustered the strength to follow him. But why would Nekomaru wander off so early in the morning? I... I was wondering about that, too. I mean, I already knew I wasn't going to get any sleep. So I just sat in the lounge, stared off into space for no real reason, and waited for him to come back. Jeez. And that's when the clock in the lounge started ringing. Thanks to that loud alarm, I completely forgot about Nekomaru. Until just now. Then, from the time you saw Nekamaru until the alarm rang, you were at the lounge the whole time. But what were you doing there? That time? By chance, were you thinking about everything that's happened so far and getting choked up? What? Huh? Was I right? You. Of course not, asshole. You're, you're completely wrong. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're absolutely right. And I thought you were reminiscing about Pekko or something. But that can't be right. After all, you already know how pointless it is to cling to memories of the dead. No. Thanks, Fuyuhiko. Yep, I get it now. Thanks to everyone's detailed information, I'm slowly getting a grasp of the situation. Everybody's so sad about everything. If I put events in chronological order... Fuyuhiko witnessed Nekomaru at 5am. That's the time Nekomaru apparently went down to the first floor. At 5.30 a.m., the alarm clock in the lounge started ringing. When that happened, you two woke up and left your rooms to go to the lounge, where Fuyuhiko was. Right after that, you heard a strange rumbling sound that didn't quite make sense. Let's make history. Now that I think about it, something might have happened to Nekomaru during that noise. If so, that must have been Nekomaru's final scream before he breathed his last. It's a robot who doesn't breathe. Hmm. Hold on. If Nekomaru died, we heard that sound. <laughs> Doesn't that mean we have an alibi? You're right. Something did happen to him. Alibi? God damn it. I mean... When we heard that rumbling noise, we were at the lounge, you know? If that's when the killer murdered Nekomaru, then we have a solid alibi. I get it. Can't argue with that. Hmm. It might be too soon to declare that just yet. We can't be certain unless we first clear up the mystery surrounding that rumbling noise. Hmm. A rumbling noise. Huh. Did something heavy fall over or something? Also, based on what everyone just told me, there's another thing I'm curious about. You all heard the alarm clock in the lounge go off just before the rumble. What do you suppose that means? Hey. Hey, haven't we talked enough? I really think I should repair the elevator soon. Oh my. You're still here. <laughs> Get off! Once the elevator is fixed, I'm not gonna let you anywhere near it. 
and so Kazuichi ran down the stairs, complaining for some reason. So, what should we do now? Uh, there's something I wanted you to do. After the elevator is fixed, there's something I want you to investigate. Huh? What is it? The clocks in the first floor lounges of both Grape House and Strawberry House. Right after that, you heard a strange rumbling sound that didn't quite make sense. Huh? Why? I'll tell you later. Hey, bastard. Fine, but why are you asking me? You can investigate that yourself. I would investigate it myself, but... By the time the elevator is fixed, there's a chance I might not be with you at all anymore. Bruh. <laughs> huh? Anyway, I'm counting on you. Gah, that bastard doesn't make any sense. Now then, here comes the main event. There's only one thing I can do for them. I can go to that place for everyone's sake. Oh! It's hell. Nagito's going straight to hell. <laughs> I can't let them face that danger. I must be the pariah who goes in their place. Straight to hell. That's it. I should investigate one more time before I head over there. The elevator and the door at the far back of Strawberry Hall. Just in case, it might be good to check and make sure they've re they're really blocked off. Let's go! Oh my god, we're so fast again. I got used to our slow, starving wander. It's fine. If I press the bu uh, button next to the elevator, the door should open so I can ride it. But nothing happens when I press it. Looks like it's definitely broken. Hey, what are you doing? You're getting in the way of my repairs. Hey, why did the elevator break in the first place? Oh, the killer malfunctioned the safety device. Look, you see the silver cover under the button? It looks like that's the elevator's control panel. They probably opened it up and messed with the settings. But the cover is locked, so they wouldn't have been able to open it unless they had some kind of tool. Hmm. Are there any tools in this building? Uh. No. There shouldn't be. I don't really know if they forced it open with a tool anyway. The control panel on this side wasn't the one that was forced open. I see. It's the control panel on the grape house side that's broken then. Yeah. If the one on this side isn't broken, that's the only thing I can think of. I'm pretty sure there should be a control panel over there too. Plus, the elevator is stuck on the grape house side. Wouldn't that be the last person who used this elevator went to grape house? Yep, it's official. The elevator was disabled on the other side. Hey, hey I don't have time to talk to you. Hurry up and go away. <laughs> Jeez, I'm trying to do repairs without any tools. No matter how much time I get, it won't be enough. If you don't have any tools, why don't you use this? It... Is this a multi-tool? Where'd you get something like this? I had it with me before I even arrived at the fourth island. If we're going to explore a new island, it's essential to bring this kind of equipment, right? Just casually prepared for any situation. Are you a guy like you has been walking around with a dangerous tool this whole time. Huh? Is there something wrong? It, it's nothing. 
Then I'll let you have this. Your repairs might go faster now, right? But in exchange, I want you to do something. What? That multi-tool has a compass. After the elevator is fixed, I want you to ride the elevator and see how the compass reacts. What, what the hell for? Well, to be honest, there's something I just still don't understand regarding the structure of this building. So please, I really need this information to find out the relationship between the building and the elevator. Huh? I don't really get it, but well, as long as I'm just checking a compass, I don't mind. I'm glad. Then I'll leave the rest to you. And then he fixes the elevator and rides it and doesn't check the compass. Uh-huh. <laughs> Thanks. And then we didn't get to talk to you. This too. I can think of only one possible. reason why the killer barred the door to Strawberry Hall. He wished to prevent me from going to the crime scene. Judgment. Which means the killer was afraid. Afraid of the conclusion promised by my assumptions. Okay. Thank <laughs> God. Useless! It's the strawberry hall door that leads to the tower. Hey, Odd Bunny, how's it going? The button is broken. There's no way it'll open. Ooh, excuse me. Oh my god. As I recall, based on what Fuyuhiko told Hajime over the phone, the other side of this door is also barred with chains. He must have been really cautious to go to the trouble of barring the door from both sides. Nobody can get in or out! Something about that seems a little suspicious. Let's make history. The killer's intent. I can think of only one explanation. Ah, uh, end up. <laughs> Perhaps they intended to keep me from entering the scene of the crime. Listen well. Which means the killer was afraid! Afraid of the conclusion promised by my assumptions! Yeah, that was probably it. <laughs> We've already covered that, Gundam! <laughs> Thanks, nobody! <laughs> Just as I thought, there's no mistaking it. The elevator and the strawberry hall door look like they're completely broken. Oof. Hey, as long as it's not been going bad. That's all that matters, right? <laughs> I didn't expect the contact elevator to be disabled from Grape House. As long as it's disabled, there's no way to move between houses. Which means the person who disabled the elevator would be stuck at Grape House. That person, they should still be at Grape. But... No, it's too soon to form an answer but I won't be too late to find the answer, even after I finish investigating that room. Time to go to the final dead room? Finally time for the final dead room? Also, I I think you're on to something. Oh? Just the Gundam would have left the building, and he probably disabled the elevator on the other side. Hmm. Wait, why Gundam? Not Gundam, sorry. Nekamaru. Okay, I was like, wait, where, <laughs> where did you get that from? <laughs> it's too many characters to keep track of. Mm -hmm. Let's be real. The final dead room. <laughs> Only those who win the life-threatening game contained within will reach the octagon. And inside the octagon, the ultimate weapon awaits. There's no doubt Nekamaru's killer has been to that place. No matter where I search, there are no weapons anywhere in this building. Regardless of the weapon used to kill Nekamaru, the killer must have obtained it there. If that's the case, I should get going. Let's go! So, uh, also, unlike everyone else, I don't mind dying at all. For real though, Nino? I'm just sitting here, like, since I'm not doing a bunch of reading right now, I'm just over here being like, just dancing. 
It's so good. V3 also has some really, really good music, which I don't remember if you said you played that one just yet or not. But I think the third one is probably my all-time favorite. And I'm very excited for whenever we get to it. <laughs> That's all the more reason why I should go. <laughs> Suddenly we're in notary. Right? I'm telling you, it's notary Whoa. game now. This Surprise! is very different. Surprise! So this is the final dead room. It feels a little eerie. Hope I don't get scared. I mean, Spike Chunsoft was involved in uh, notary games. Oh. So, you know, it makes sense. Did the door just lock? I see. The door is designed to lo automatically lock. It's not. I would have turned. It's not. I would have turned back if I st if it stayed unlocked. What? It's not as if I would have turned back okay. if it Thank stayed you. unlocked. Thank you. I fixed it. <laughs> Thank you. Oh hey, Emmy. Oh what? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Surprise. Purple, what? And I thought the door finally opened. Now it's locked again. <laughs> She's trapped in here. I figured you'd turn up since I haven't seen you in a while, but I never expected to see you here. N Nagito! Uh-huh. Why are you in such a dangerous place? Same to you. Why are you here? I, I heard the body discovery announcement, and I thought something happened in this room. And you got locked in when you came inside. You're a fool from head to toe. I, I am truly ashamed. <laughs> well, not that I care. Just make sure you don't get in my way. Um, get in your way? The life-threatening game is going to start soon, right? It'd be annoying if you got in my way. Uh, uh, are you planning to do it? Well, if I don't, I can't get out of here, right? And besides, the only, only way trash like me can be useful is by risking my life for everyone's sake. Wrong. You're wrong. Nagito is not trash at all. There's no such thing as a human being who doesn't deserve to live. I know I'm being heartwarming right now, but my heart is super scared and pounding like crazy. Are you sure you're not just excited? You know, isn't it exciting to think that I can finally be useful for the sake of those who shoulder hope? Now then, about this so-called life-threatening game. Oh, dang. oh no. <laughs> Nagito, if there's anything you don't get, just ask me. By all means, I'll help you and make sure you get out of here. Leave it to me. Bring it on. Escape game. <laughs> that's that's what they say in nonary. That's <laughs> That sounds like something a teacher would say, but I shouldn't expect too much from her. <laughs> also, if people haven't played it, y'all should play the Nonary games. They're very good. Fucking math visual novels. No. But it's very good. Maybe we'll do the uh, the second one after we finish Danganronpa. It's Monokuma's plushie. You want me to punish you guys? You guys want me to punish you? It looks Ew. like this plush she talks when you squeeze the tummy. <laughs> Life-size Monoguma! Now for the special price of only $10,000! Oh, what, what, what? An advertisement! There's something shining under the bed. Hmm, I can't reach it. Looks like the bed is fixed to the floor. I can't even move it. 
Is yeah. there something thin and long? My face. It says, watch the news in blood. <laughs> oh, uh, I might get cursed just by looking at it. Haha, <laughs> it's just a secret code. Plus, it's a pretty common one. Eh? Secret code? Nagito, do you happen to know what this means? Yeah, it's a common riddle. <laughs> Does not share it with the class. Uh-huh. Oh, hey. That's thin and long. There's just one hanger hanging in the closet. It might be useful for something, so I should grab it just in case. Obtained a hanger. Oh, okay. Then do it! Right? You gotta combine it with something else. Oh no. Combine Noter it with your hand. No hurry. <laughs> yeah, well, what if I just want to, like, bend it with my hand? What if I just bend it with my hand? Wires, huh? These might be useful for something, so I should grab it. It's obviously. It'd obviously be impossible to use these to force open the iron bars. Yeah, no shit. It's made out of black. Oh, sorry. sorry. Oh, there we go. I was trying to figure out the buttons to use it. I have to, like, right-click it to use. We got a wire. Hmm, this looks like some kind of password. Oh, wait, I think I remember this one. I'm writing it down. That's why there's a pause. <laughs> okay. The first letters of the days of the week are probably the password. I doubt it's that simple. Television looks broken. Oh, all right. Good talk. Can't do anything with that one because it's locked. I... Oh my god. What are you doing? <laughs> no, please. Please. <laughs> okay. Maybe we can escape with this, Nagito. Who knows? Me, I know. I know! Hmm. Ah, scissors! If you use these to cut the iron bars... You're joking, right? Or is that supposed to be an indirect hint? Scissors got! Can I... This plushie, if it's talking, it might be bat powered by a battery. Battery! Alright, let's try cutting it open. Enough already! Yeah! I didn't need an any grannies! Uh, what a loud thing! Cut it open right away! Sure, I have to input a four digit password. No problem. I have a secret plan. If you input 9999 password combinations, it'll eventually open. I'll leave that mindless work to you, Monami. <gasps> I'll decline as well. The password to open this. I have a feeling that the hint is close by. Oh, nope. Oh, nope. Oh, leave, please. Can you get out? Okay. 
Uh, looks like I inputted it wrong. Do you die now? <laughs> We're dead now. Okay, we've got... Four. Ah, it's the arrow. Something written in blood on the- oh, sorry. There's something written in blood on the floor. Um... This is the number four, right? INCORRECT! <laughs> A number, huh? It looks like a different symbol to me. Like, for instance, a symbol that you often see on maps is an arrow. So this is north. So we got a three. We got a six. We got... There's five like... in the closet. Yeah, yeah, I was like, wait a second. And then we got a seven. A seven. Get it? Because news. News is the cardinal mm -hmm. direction. Oh! See? Yeah! Um, alright. Three. Six. I got it written down. Five. What are the batteries for? I haven't figured that out yet. I okay. didn't know what written down. Leave it to me! If you don't know something, don't overwork yourself. Feel what? free to ask me anytime. Get the fuck out of here. Do I have to do it backwards? Let me try. Or did Why I do did it? Why did you say oh, David? Probably delayed reaction to what yeah. was going on. Oh. If that isn't it, then maybe I've just overthought it. Um. Oh, wrong maybe button. it's. Is it the five and the six that are uh, switched? Well, if this is north, then this would be east. East. This would and be south. West. This would be right. south, and that'd be west. Right. And then that. Yeah. Five. Okay. Unless one of them is upside down. Or one of our numbers upside down. Is this a nine? It's got, yep. It's a nine. It's a nine. Oh my god. Trixie! Trixie! That's not the one that I wanted. I think the battery's <laughs> going here, though. <laughs> Alrighty. Hold on. It doesn't matter. We gotta open the lid. Uh-huh. Oh, it doesn't open. Okay, never mind. We'll come back to you. We need whatever is in the thing. Yeah. I'm gonna guess. Probs. Alright, let's do this one more time. Three. Oh, nine. Nine. Just go this way. Boop. There we go. Hmm. A digital camera and a USB stick. Huh. Oh. What? Looks like there's no battery inside the digital camera. There we go. Now we can use the digital camera. Okay. Well, it can then wait. wait. <laughs> I was gonna say, then did you need to use the... Oh, okay. Ah, it's a laptop. Looks like it's on, but it's locked, so I can't really access it. It doesn't look like we can input the password. How are we going to turn it on? Through this, I believe. Or use the um, USB thing on it that looks like a key <laughs> to unlock it. Quite probably. It looks like a photo of a face poster that's posted on a wall somewhere. Hmm, I wonder what it means. You remember that thing that we thought was the day of the week? Uh-huh. <laughs> it's actually the solar system. Uh, yeah, okay. I know. I did it bad. Please, just auto-use items. 
just as I thought. Looks like I was unable to unlock the lock with this USB stick. Now I need to put in the password next. Maybe the memo that was inside the desk drawer might be the laptop's password. I got it. It's the first sl- oh, that's fine. That's monomy. Monomy. I got it. It's the first letters of the days of the week. Monday, Tuesday, Monday, meaning it's M-T-W-T-F-S-S. Mount what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> huh? It was wrong? I doubt it's that simple. Okay. Okay, but will you let me enter it? But Mercury. <laughs> um. M V E. Yeah, got I got it. Oh God, I have to do it down here. Oh, I don't like that. Hold on. Okay, I can actually type it in with my keyboard. I thought I had to like use the weird letters at the at the bottom. I gotta actually type type it in. We're fine. <laughs> Is that all of them? Do I have to start with the sun? Uh, check the memo. I thought it started with M. It started with S. S was zero. Oh, was it? Okay. Yeah, it started with then S and ended in S. So, sun through Saturn? Yeah. Okay. Weird. Sun, Mercury! Venus, Venus, Earth, Earth Mars, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn. Uh -huh. There we go. Oh no. Is this Othello? Is this Othello? <laughs> um, is there anything else I can look at first? TV's broken. What is this? Looks like Othello. Leave it to me. If you don't know something, ba 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 ba. I've said this before. <laughs> oh, right, 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 right. Okay, hold on a second. Gonna... Lights. Yeah, I'm gonna take a picture uh -huh. of this right quick, so that I can look at it while I'm looking at the lights. Right. Leave it to me. We still haven't figured out how to open that up. If I use the signal book on the laptop to decipher it. Um, even if you know the number, how will you be able to input it? There's only one thing in this room that uh, you can input a number into, right? The television is it? <laughs> no, this it looks television broken. looks broken. It's just broken. Hmm, leave it to me. Is, it, is, it, is it this one? Okay, yeah, it is. I will eventually. I gotta go look at the lights though. Four digit, right? I'm gonna do four rows of four, and then we're gonna fill them in. Okay, I got it. I got it. Fastest fingers in the West! <laughs> now the real question is, are we looking at this from left to right or right to left? The computer would suggest right to left. It's got a little arrow. It's hard to see, but... So if I look at it this way... We got... Oh no. <laughs> Are the lit up ones... 
Hold on. Fill it up ones should be the filled in ones. You would think. Okay, but again, if we're looking at it from like right to left, like the little arrow did. David, don't fall asleep. David, wake up. Wake up, David. We're almost done, I promise. So it'd be filled, I filled, I'd blank, that, filled. Though, right, too. <laughs> filled, filled. Okay, no, I think it's the dark ones are the ones that we want. So that first one's gonna be four. So then. No, that doesn't make any any sense. Oh no. These are all wrong. Let's look at it this way then. I don't like it. <laughs> None of them match up is the problem. Is it 9875? No. How did you get that? I just googled Final Dead Room and that was the numbers that came up. Oh, that was the... Nope, I have no idea how I got that. But that was the thing that popped up on Google. I mean, I can try. Did you hear something? I was looking at the wrong screen. <laughs> That's okay. I'm just math memeing over here and being like, how the fuck did they get that answer? So um, this is the unlocking device to the unlocking device. This? Oh, where is it? That? That's what that's what we had. I think it's reversed for you guys. But like starting starting on this side, that was the first one going over here. None of those match any of these. Yeah, I don't know. I Whatever. figured we're getting close to ending, so we should get out of this room before we finish. I mean, yeah. Reusing gimmicks that were already used does conserve energy. I just don't- I don't understand how they did that. I think I had issues with that the last time, too, and I was just like... Oh, no! I- okay, no, I do understand. It's not- each flash isn't necessarily... Uh... It's not each, each flash isn't a single number, it's a single line. So it's going from the top to the bottom and giving you each individual digit. So like- Oh, wow. This line, like this, this button is for this number. This button is for this number. So you have to uh -huh. like fill it in the other way. Okay, whatever. A keyhole again. We don't have a key, do we? Did we ever get a key? I believe we've already searched this room from top to bottom. Time to rip open Monami. No! <laughs> Sorry, friend. Okay, but we had to keep before, right? No. Monami. Hmm. Looks like you need a key. Not like I have a key or anything. <laughs> Surprise, it's saw. What? You do have a key. Nobody should decide that there's only one use for one thing. Right, do you have to use scissors on her? Oh, I mean, no. I, can, I can try. I think I have to use the USB. Oh, yeah. Can't yeah. cut her open. <laughs> Dang. Real shame that. Oh, oh, okay. I saw it say open. 
Why are you scared? Why were you scared for Monami? Yay, hey. looks like we cleared it. <laughs> With our powers combined, we were able to clear the life-threatening game. Who cares about clearing it? Why does the exit feel like it's not opening? Huh? What do you mean it won't open? Ooh. Are you serious? It's not opening! <laughs> Surprise! Didn't I just tell you that? That's... It's not just the exit. Even the door we entered from isn't opening. Maybe the game isn't over yet. Is there any chance that that thing I found earlier was just joking around? Seems like you have something on your mind. Um... Uh, um, when I first arrived in this room, I received a letter. A letter? I'm sorry. I thought it was just a prank, so I didn't have a chance to tell you. Enough with the excuses. Hurry up and show it to me. Um... Ah, yes. It's this. Solve the mystery of the final dead room, and you'll obtain the right to play the life-threatening game. About the life-threatening game. It's life-threatening roulettes. P.S. You're held liable for setting the roulettes difficulty. Depending on the difficulty, I've prepared special prizes, but make sure you don't overdo yourself. Hmm. I see. So that's what it meant. We're gonna play Russian Roulette! Uh, um, what does it mean? It means the games up until now were just the opening act. From this point on, to the real performance. Huh? Life-threatening Roulette. That's probably like Russian Roulette. See? A gun came out from there. This is dark. <laughs> Which means I have to use that to play Russian Roulette, right? This is fine. R Russian Roulette? Then, allow me. You can't! You, you can't, no matter what, it's too dangerous. Hey, Monami, there's something I wanted to ask you. In all honesty, I don't really understand the rules of Russian Roulette. Hey! Ah, if that's the case... Load one bullet into the cylinder, then spin it. After that, point the gun towards you and pull the trigger. You can't! Wait, you can't do that! There's a 1 in 6 chance you'll die! A 1 in 6 chance of death, which means the failure rate is only 1 sixth. Only. Hey, is that rule really okay? Huh? I mean, if there's only a 1 6 chance of failing, wouldn't the game be too easy? Bruh. So, shouldn't it be the opposite? Remove one bullet from the gun, and then use it, while there are still five bullets loaded. If you do that, there will be a 1 6 chance of success. Yep, that would definitely make it a more thrilling game. That's... He's what, also... what are you saying? I'm sorry, we also have to keep in mind that he's been extremely unlucky at points, too. Let's give it a go. Just saying? Hold on, Nagito. What are you doing? What am I doing? Playing Russian roulette, obviously. I've only removed one bullet. So there's only a 1 in 6 chance that I'll survive. You, you can't! Please stop! This is fine! It's not much of a talent, but even I have an ultimate level talent, you know? I'm the ultimate lucky student. But if I can't win when there's only a 1 in 6 chance of success, then what kind of ultimate talent is that? I mean, if my luck gets me killed like this, there's no way you can really call that talent. If I'm true, the ultimate lucky student, I need to survive here. Rip, Nagito. Right. 
just now. That was the door unlocking, right? Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we finally cleared the final dead room. Monami's just over there completely traumatized. Yeah. <laughs> I I I I'm scared of you, Nagito. Valid response. Hmm. Really? Oh well. Let's go. The octagon should be just beyond that door. Nagito be wildin! So this is the octagon, huh? Hmm. But what a distor uh, distorted room! Congratulations, Nagito! Whoa, whoa, what? He's here! Congratulations on clearing the final dead room! And you even challenged yourself at the highest difficulty with only a one in six chance of success. Here. I have a modest present for someone like you. Now then, this first. Is this the Future Foundations file? <gasps> Mystic, that's super exciting. I'm very excited for you. This is a wild trial. I mean, they all are in their own way, but this one specifically. <laughs> Didn't we already get this when we were at the roller coaster? Uh-huh. Well, just think of it as an extension of that. Extension. Hey, hey. You, you, what are you uh, giving without permission? Hmm. Let's see. And one more special prize. Yes, I have played all um, all of the Rompa games before, uh, but a lot of my community hadn't experienced them just yet, so we figured we would get through them and uh, share them a bit. <laughs> Here you go! This craft. Is this Hope's Peak Academies? <laughs> That's right! This file! It contains your student profiles from your time at Hope's Peak Academy. Meaning, they're profiles that you guys don't even remember. What? <laughs> Our time at Hope's Peak Academy, huh? But after all this time, I still can't believe it. You mean that matter concerning your stolen school memories? I mean... A no good person like me actually spent time with everyone else at Hope's Peak Academy? No, Nagito. No, it's impossible. If that's true, how did I feel? Surely I would have spent my time feeling ashamed of myself for being in the presence of such greatness. Jeez, whether you're upbeat or depressed, I still don't understand you at all. Oh well, anyway, I'm passing this along to you. How you use it is up to you! Thanks. I'll take a long look at it later. David really do be having luck over there. Or hope. Hope that everyone was just great. Hope that Nagito wasn't actually this wild before. So, if I look at these profiles, I'll be able to find out what Hajime's talent is too only care about Hajime. He'll probably be happy about it. Yay, someone like me was finally useful. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? What are you laughing about? Well, I just thought it was ironic. Out of everyone here, someone like you was the one who obtained Hope Peak Hope's Peak Academy's student profiles. I'm not sure if you're lucky or unlucky. What What does that mean? <laughs> but looks like things are gonna get interesting. <laughs> yes, Nagito, you might be the one who makes things much more interesting. I don't really know what you're talking about. Hey, hey. Hey, what are you planning? What's written in there? 
Like... Anyway, Monami. Hey, hey. No cheating. You haven't reached the end yet. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah. I mean, you haven't played Russian Roulette yet. Um... But, but... Nagito already did it. No, 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 no! No, 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 no. Hi, Terror. Hi, Terry. How's it going? Hi. Get over here! Revenge for the final dead room! No. Coercion! <laughs> Jeez, they're gone. In the end, I still don't understand what Monokuma was talking about. But for now, I'll leave this file for later. First, I need to investigate this room. It's not like I know how to get out of here. I think we'll probably call it here. Can I- Ugh, I want to file so bad! <laughs> gotta wait! Gotta wait! Gotta wait! Five days? Gotta wait till next week! Mm-hmm, 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 It's gonna be great! It's gonna be worth it! Don't even worry about it! <laughs> look! Look! I would continue playing on tonight, but it's gonna be like a full, like, hour more and i don't think any of us are ready for this so it's fine Makes sense. this is as good a what time to stop as any i'm sorry but my... i need to move my light it's very dark at my desk now all of a sudden oh well um okay i'm gonna i think i just saved but i'm gonna save again because that's what we gotta do gotta save five billion times to make sure that it's saved but uh as always thank you emmy and Allie, for reading along with me Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> yeah, I know. Stream is ending. We've been we've been streaming for three hours though. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> next time. We'll be able to hang out with more next time. It's okay. We will send you off to someone great and fantastic and lovely. I promise, okay? Okay. Okay, fine. <laughs> We love you, Terry. Um, let me pull up to see who I've got online. <gasps> Props to you for getting a vaccine! Yes! I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. Thank you for doing your part to make sure that folks like myself stay safe. But also keeping your dang self safe. Very good. Alright, looks like we've got... Nimbly online doing some makers and crafting stuff. Dougie Buz is playing some Stardew Valley. Princess Meezy's doing some Genshin Impact and that's That's who I got online right now. <laughs> it's a quiet night. Um any of those sound good? I kinda wanna go hang out with Dougie, but that's just me. Oh, hiccups. <laughs> Let me get the rain messages up. But yeah, let's go hang out with uh, let's go hang out with Dougie. Either Dougie or Nimbly. Looks like Dougie's got fewer viewers, so let's go hang out with them. Um, I love you guys though. Take care of your dang selves. We'll be back next time. And me, thank you for the gift sub. You wonderful, beautiful human being. Um. Yeah, let's go show Dougie some love. Take care of your dang selves. I'll be back tomorrow um, with Grim Grimoire. And we're starting Vampire in the evening. So I'm stoked about that. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Have a great one. We'll see y'all later. Bye.